Hey guys, my name is Andre Serikson, and welcome back to another Erikson Cinematics Review. Been a while since I done one of these, but, uh, yeah. I just saw Ralph Breaks the Internet yesterday, Wreck-It Ralph, the, the sequel, um, I don't know, what? <laughs> and I really wanted to talk about it, because I like doing reviews, and I like talking about movies that I like. Spoiler alert, I liked it. But uh, anyway, um, I'm calling this a rambling review because as you can see from some of the other videos on this channel, I'm still getting used to organizing my thoughts on camera when I just kind of have to spew it all out. That's another story. Anyway, I'm gonna talk about this by dividing it into the good and the bad and then my overall thoughts and rating it out of 10 at the end. So yeah, let's get started on the good. Based on the trailers for this movie, I was worried it was gonna be a little meme -y, and they were gonna throw in all these like, oh, Fortnite dances and all these references and it was gonna get clouded by all, by that sort of thing. I was afraid it was gonna lose the charm of being in video game world that the first one had, but I actually think I like this one better than the first one. One of my favorite things about this one that I didn't love about the first one is that they didn't stay in one location for the majority of the movie because in the first one I'm having a little trouble remembering but I remember Ralph goes through that alien game and then he goes through somewhere else and then he ends up in Sugar Rush for the majority of the game and it's still a good movie and there's a lot of good stuff to come out of it but I didn't like that they stayed in that one location so in this one I was worried that was gonna happen but no they actually they did get out of their system all the internet references and they had funny little moments moments with search engines and they with Google and with eBay and all this stuff. So after having all these funny internet moments, they end up in Slaughter Race, which is kind of where their journey leads them without giving any spoilers away. And I was thinking, oh, is this going to be the sugar rush of this movie? Are we just going to be here for the rest of the time? But no, there was still more to explore. There were more fun areas to go to they went to the dark web they went to other places that again i just i don't want to give everything away but because of this i just i thought the pacing was a lot better than the first one i just it, it was it was such a fun movie overall it was so much fun there were a lot of references to internet things and all that sorts of stuff but that but i think it was handled really well and it was actually really funny i think my favorite part of where they went to explore through the internet was the Disney portion, and that's not a spoiler because it's been in the trailers. Getting to see them interact interact with Star Wars, and there was like this cute little like, oh, hey, moment from like with a Marvel character that I won't spoil. But the best part of that was when Vanellope went to see the princesses, as also seen in the trailer. And I was annoyed that they gave that away in the trailer, but there was actually more to be seen with that, and, I, and it was really funny, and it was handled really well, and they brought a lot of the same voice actors back for those princesses and what they do with them I just thought was really funny and really cool and you just gotta see it and that was another thing I really liked about this movie was that I there were actual genuine laughs that came from me there were some really funny moments and I think aside from Pixar and Disney nowadays it's so rare for an animated movie to appeal to all ages and make anyone over the age of 10 actually laugh and enjoy themselves so this yet again was another example of why Disney is far above the rest when it comes to animation studios. Obviously, there are really good animated movies out there that aren't Disney or Disney and Pixar, but honestly, in my opinion, I mean, Illumination does not even come close to the standard that Disney has. DreamWorks hasn't been up there in a really long time. This is all my opinion, but I feel like if you look at the filmographies of these studios, it would be hard to disagree. <laughs> I also really liked the message that this film had. I was wondering what core idea would kind of tie this film together. And I think what they settled on and what they kind of based the plot around and where it went toward the end was really nice. And I really like what they chose to do. I think they have a lot to say. And the great thing is this movie does have something to say. You can be an animated movie and still have something to say, which I didn't really expect from this movie, but I was really happy that we got. It had a lot to say about best friendships and relationships and how those things can change and how you handle them changing, I guess, without giving too much away once again. <laughs> but I think it did it really well and I even got like a little choked up at the end. So, which is a good thing. I like when movies can make me feel, especially when it's an animated movie 
and it dares to be more than just poop jokes or really cliche storylines that are super predictable and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, this is why I call it rambling because I'm rambling. Blah, 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 blah. So now that we've talked about the good, let's talk about the bad. And the truth is, I don't really have a lot bad to say about this movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. But if I have to say something, I would say the setup in the beginning, how they set the plot up and stuff was a little obvious and it kind of just happened to buy the book the way they got to where they were going. Some of the jokes here and there felt a little lazy and easy childish humor. But I mean, at the end of the day, it is also appealing to kids. So there are going to be some of those moments. I just, as an adult, I was just like, okay. But again, there was a lot for me to enjoy too, so that it didn't matter. And lastly, I would say it still maybe doesn't quite reach the levels that a Pixar movie can when it comes to overall dramatic arc and that like powerful oomph for like all ages but i would say as far as a disney movie that isn't pixar goes this one came really close for me personally which is a really good thing so anyway my closing thoughts i really enjoyed this movie again i liked it more than i thought i would it was so much fun i think it appeals to all ages no film is a perfect film so it's not perfect but I really enjoyed it. I still like the characters. I like that they learned from the first movie and then had something new things to do and didn't just rehash the same character arcs in this one. I thought the new characters were a lot of fun. Um, the animation was fantastic. I don't, I don't know anything about animation, so it just blows my mind that, that this stuff can be made. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, overall, out of 10, I'm going to give, out of 10 what's, I don't know. I'm going to give it, 9 out of 10. Oh yeah, isn't that great? I think it's deserving. I don't like giving out really high scores very often, but I think this one deserves it. I highly recommend it. I think it's a fun time at the movies, and it might pull on your heartstrings just a little bit, which is nice. But again, don't let me get your hopes up too high. Just try to watch it with a clean slate, clear mind. Enjoy it if you do. Don't like it if you don't like it. That's something I need to hear after watching reviews like that and reading reviews is just, just try to watch it with your own clear mind without any other people's words getting into your brains. I know that's hard to do, but I think it's important. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe for more movie type things and and I will hopefully have more reviews in the future and stuff like that. Thanks again for watching. Uh, bye bye